All right, it took about 11 months to get here, and it took a couple extra months to get everything organized and set up, but I got the three cages all set up. Two of them are ready, that's the third. It's not quite ready yet. Uh, there's an issue with the heater, so that one is for the Boa Imperator, or Imperator, however you wanna say it. Um, these two are for my younger Suriname and my Guyana. The Guyana went in last night. I'm going to attach that video to this video that you're seeing here, so you'll see it all in one. But that was last night, and I've got my younger Suriname here. She's gonna go in right now. Um, been testing out the temperatures and everything and just making sure everything's ready. And I'm probably gonna get another water dish for each cage sometime in the next couple days. So there's one on each end. You can't see that one right now, it's behind the log, but that way there'll be two in each cage. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna swing around because I need to stand behind the couch to film this. But these two cages are eight by three by 30 inches. Um, and then the other one's six by two by two. Uh, this girl eventually is going to go into the, this big one here, the eight by three by four. And the girl that's in there is going to go in here cause she's going to be quite a bit smaller. Um, but that's not going to be for a little while. So I'll put this girl in here and see if she explores as much as the Guyana did last night. When I put the, well, you'll see, I don't have to tell you about it. I think the uh, Guyana is hiding in this log here cause it's hollow. And she found that pretty quick last night. So let this girl go on in. She probably won't do a whole bunch right now. She'll probably just kind of go through and explore. So what I'll probably do is stop this video at some point and over the next couple hours when she starts exploring different areas of the enclosure, I'll add that video to this like I did with the guy on last night. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I got some dirt in the track. Sorry about this. Oh, sure. Just mess up the plants right away. <sighs> That's why I get fake plants. Because they screw them right away. But eventually I want to put uh, Pro Products heat panels in here. Um, unfortunately, with losing my job with the pandemic, it just wasn't feasible to get the heat panels right now. Uh, I still owe quite a bit of money on these cages. So, um... I was able through uh, some donations to the page, um, to the channel, I'm sorry, um, to get a Herbstat 4 thermostat. I'm sorry, a Herbstat 6, which controls all three of these. Um, and I found out that I don't need to run all of the heaters, uh, usually one during the day and then two at night. Uh, but the, t the second one at night is still set for really low. So anyway, um, gives you a better shot of the enclosures. A lot of space for these girls now, especially since this girl's probably about 50, 56, 58 inches. She's going behind the thing on me. Oh, you kill your guy's ears again. I can't see where she's going. Make you guys nauseous. I'll probably add some more plants back here. Well, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of hidden. So, as long as they're comfortable with it, um, I usually try to give them space towards the back of the enclosure to fully stretch. But, yep, I got some driftwood from some people about an hour away. Uh, unfortunately, around where I'm at, there's not a whole lot of opportunity to get driftwood like some people have the ability to get. But yeah, this girl, she's probably in here. You'll see the videos from last night from her right after these videos with this girl stop. And then that one should be up and running in the next few days. I have pulled off the wall a little bit still right now because I want to make sure that I don't need to get anything back there. But I've been telling you for about a year that they're coming and here they are. 
So we'll see if there's more video to come after this of this girl, but if not, you'll see some Guyana right after this. Well, it took her about an hour or so, but she's out exploring. Usually she's much more active at nighttime when the lights are out. She's a very, very active girl, but now that she's got all this space, it'll be interesting to see what she does with it. Like I said, she's going to end up in the, um, the 8 by 3 by 4 eventually. And the other girl, she's a little more skittish, but she's bigger currently. But the Guyana's pretty active as well, as you'll see in the next video. Oh, actually, she's out too. Uh, she was in here earlier, curled up. I'll add a picture for you guys to see after this, but she's stretched out along the back right now. She's so bright and vibrant. I love her tail. This girl down here just shed, actually. She's not quite under the light, so it's a little harder to see, but she's due up for a meal in a couple days, so she's probably on the prowl. But she moved up to mediums, so she's not eating quite as often. It's good to see the girls enjoying the space. I'll leave this girl be so I don't scare her off.